Hi everybody, today I will be sharing some of the dishes that I like, which will be uh, goat and uh, sweet potato leaves. Stay tuned and I'll be right with you. Goat meat smells really, really strong, so it's better to put some lemon juice if you have it to keep that smell a little bit down so so for me to have everything ready when uh, the good meat is done I'll go ahead and do so and make some sauce already to put I use olive oil this is what I usually cook with I don't put too much and once that is hot enough I will go ahead and put all of this together I have onions here and green pepper and orange pepper so I don't like to use too much of that because I have a um, sensitive gum so it gets it swollen if I, I eat a lot of pepper when you hear that you know that it's the oil is ready looks so beautiful and while I'm making this the gut meat here it's getting ready so we have few different ways of making uh, meat any kind of meat or gut meat like I'm making today some people would fry it some people would just uh, do sauce but me today I'm going to do it with uh, to mix it with vegetables and the vegetable I'm going to use is um, the sweet potato leaves it's just what I felt like eating so for me this level here uh, it's ready to start putting everything I need to uh, the first thing I'll put into that is the tomato so I will use some basil here just a little bit there we go and some garlic not much and some ground nutmeg it's like half of a teaspoon really and some black pepper and mix it in the region that I come from where I was born we cook almost everything with turmeric so in everything that I cook, I put turmeric. And don't put too much, put enough. I rarely measure stuff, so sorry about not being specific. So this is what I'll put in that. Turmeric is really good for you. I will take a little bit of the goat water and pour it into the sauce what I will be doing now is taking my vegetables here and pour it into the goat meat so it can be ready at the same time I will go ahead and add some salt this is not too much so it's like a teaspoon put in my sauce and just a little bit into the good meat so that's the good meat and vegetable so mixed together and here I have my sauce that is ready now I'm gonna take it and pour into the goat and the vegetables so this is how it looks like mm, 
too beautiful and it tastes good the salt is good and enough so that's that and I'll take some water and pour into this so that's the water no waste and I'll go ahead and mix everything together so my vegetables here it's like it's still a big ground because it was it's frozen so there we go and I'll just let it get enough heat boil it for a little while longer like 20 minutes almost and after that we'll see what we will eat that with either you can either eat it with rice or for me I will eat it with fufu that's the main dish uh, this is what I'm going to eat today so let's wait and see what we have after that okay let's see now the result Ooh, it's hot. It smells so good Mm. can't wait really really smells good guys I'll taste and see if the salt is enough okay look at that so beautiful so this is what I was eating growing up okay, somebody's here just trying to play with so for fufu we just put cold water I'll go ahead and put corn flour to start Arrête, s'il te plaît. S'il te plaît. Okay, so this is what we do to start fufu. You can see it's really like liquid. It's not heavy or anything. I just put a little bit of corn flour. So we have different kind of corn flour. We have white and we have this kind of like yellow. This we'll just leave it until it starts boiling and we'll put uh, corn flour. Some people will say it's like bread, but I wouldn't really say that it's like bread. But the texture is really different. Come back, open it and Try to steer it. You have to steer it once in a while. It's starting to boil now. Okay, now it's really hot and boiling. So we will take flour and just put it there. So be careful if you want to try it because it's so hot and it can really burn you because it pops up. So. We put that so Chloe likes to eat that flour like that I don't know why she does that anyway I'll go ahead and add just a little bit more but don't add too much because otherwise it will be so hard and you can just go ahead and cover it for two more minutes and start steering Ça va, maman? Bois un peu d'eau. Bois de l'eau. 
toilet. Toilet, Mama. What do you do? So you can see the texture that it's having. You see? That. You really have to do it well so you don't have those little balls. So that's what we eat. That's fufu. So I'm done, and this is so you kind of get it a little bit round like that. So here you go. So this is fufu that we eat. That's fufu and that's the goat meat and the vegetables. So this is this is the result here. And the way we eat fufu is we eat with our hands. So I already washed my hands, so you kinda cut like this and you, <laughs> you do this and you know you pour into the vegetables and take it that way eat and you eat mm. I'm enjoying my fufu now because Chloe doesn't want to eat she had a lot of watermelon oh it's so yummy I'm telling you it's really good subscribe down below Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just tried to make Mama. something that I grew up with. Mama. Here's Chloe. Oh, tu veux manger? Oui. Tu veux manger? Prends les foufous. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum. She yum. loves fufu and sometimes she just eat it like that without anything. Mm. It makes me happy to eat mm. stuff things that I grew up with. So uh, see you next time guys and I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestion please leave the comment down below. Bye. So this is what Chloe and I left. <laughs>